We have arrived to the Gulf of Thailand to an island called Koh Samui. Welcome to paradise, another paradise in Thailand. <laughs> but it's another island very close to Koh Samui that we are really excited about. It's a tiny little island called Koh Matsum, aka Pig Island. Oh my gosh, there's loads of them. I actually wonder how many pigs there is. And today we'll be taking a boat trip from Koh Samui out to see these adorable little creatures. The part we've been most looking forward to on this tour is why we actually booked it, was to see the pigs. <laughs> so we've seen cows on a beach, dogs on a beach, we've never seen pigs on a beach. This is the first. Oh my god, welcome to paradise, <laughs> another paradise in Thailand. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. Yeah, it's beautiful. Look at the colour of the sand, I know. proper white sand. <laughs> Let's go find the pigs. <laughs> we can see a few plotted around. Some of them are huge and yeah. some of them are tiny. The small pigs. This island is absolutely fabulous, honestly. It is, isn't it? Might be my favourite place. There's dogs running around, <laughs> pigs running around, swings, the beach, there's hens going around, there's a bar. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's loads of them. I actually wonder how many pigs there is. I don't know. You don't know. Right, some of them, be careful behind it. Oh, <laughs> we don't want to get too close because we did hear that they can nip at you as well. They yeah. can bite. But some of them let you rub them as well because we've seen a few people getting close up to them. Yeah, yeah. Look at these here. I suppose if you have food, that's the trick. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to go near that big one. Maybe a small one first. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll start small and then we'll work our way up. They're all just Got lying them. around over here. Dogs and pigs. <laughs> oh my God, they're all just thrown in. Look. Yeah, may have a <laughs> oh, look at the little ones. The little babies, they're actually feeding. They're getting fed. Oh, oh my man, god. Ah, Jesus, look at them. <laughs> There's a hen. <laughs> a random beach all right, isn't it? It is, it's very random. We thought we seen it all as I said earlier, we've seen cows on a beach in yeah. India but this sort of tops it, I think. This really does. Look at him, are the little pig. <laughs> Hello. I wonder, can I rub him? How close can we get to them? I don't know. I'm sure the little piglets don't bite. Pick one up, Sandy. <laughs> Pick yeah. up this big one here that's coming around. <laughs> and give him a cuddle. Mm. He's a different colour. Yeah, he's a different, he's got a different nose as well. Look. Yeah. Hello. Can I rock you? Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you can obviously buy food then as well. Yeah. So like that's an attraction, you can buy the food to actually feed them. They're so adorable, aren't they? These little guys. Hello. Hey, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> little snorts. Little snorts. Or little, yeah. Ah, he's adorable, he's so tiny. Hello. Can I just pick you up? <laughs> Take him home. I want to pick up the little small ones, I'm not going to lie. I wonder, can you? <laughs> oh, he's petting them. Oh my god. Nope. <laughs> so they like the water. <laughs> Look at him, his mouth is proper around him. <laughs> <clears throat> oh my god. 3D. What about this one? Have <laughs> 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 you? Oh my god, they're so cute. So we heard one of them actually bit. He was feeding them and they bit, they bit a girl's finger and it's bleeding and all that. So we're like, right, okay, maybe not. So that guy came over and he's like, you can give them some water. Yeah. Drink it out of the bottle of water. It's so funny. I think that's the thing with uh, when animals are involved is that they all have different temperaments so like some of them you can approach and kind of rub and things like that but then sometimes you might go a bit too far with, with a certain one and they might just snap but generally 
they seem okay once you kind of go you this respect one. them a little bit and kind of don't go too close but this one's barely on the ground it's definitely pregnant. pregnant pregnant yeah how did they get here this is an island i don't know how on earth did the pigs get here she's pregnant she could be a bit hormonal now <laughs> <laughs> you don't go too close her hormonal uh, pregnant pig. It's the little look at the war, or it's the little ones that ah, get me. They're so cute. Oh. The oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's that one up? Hey, little guy. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, my God. Hey. Hello. Where does the baby stop? Yeah. Oh, you're not so <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but he is. He's taking it. <laughs> oh, that's gas. Right, so yeah, we were talking a second ago about how the pigs actually got here and a little bit of a backstory. So they have a like a board here with some information. It says here that the story begins with Mr. Kit and his big heart. Mr. Kit runs a small beach bar on the island and him uh, with him and his wife and his family. Uh, the pigs of Cole Madsen, which is the name of the island that we're on, uh, aka, you know, Pig Island, uh, didn't always live there as pigs, of course, don't typically roam free on the beaches. They don't roam free on the beaches. But Mr. Kit was making a trip to see his family on the mainland to a town called Suratani, which is kind of like the, the, the main base from when you uh, depart, if you like, to, to go to all these islands. He travelled past, past a market and he couldn't help but notice four pigs huddled together. Oh, ah, okay, yes, yeah. Being, being sold, sold by farmers hands. and butchers that day. So obviously okay. the gist we're getting from this is that he just seen these pigs and was like, instead of them going to the slaughterhouse or whatever, he was actually going to take them. There were two two big pigs and two small pigs, which he later found out that they were a family. Uh, so he made the decision then right there to keep them together. And to keep them alive, he brought the pigs that day, loaded them onto his boat and sailed back to Co <laughs> Ma Madsum. <laughs> So as you can imagine, oh, Mr. Kid had never owned any pigs. He had a pet cat and chickens, but never any pigs, let alone oh, okay, four. Yeah. So they were going to actually be sold. And he saved them? Uh, from a farmer's market to a butcher's that day, and he saved them. So mm. we were wondering, how did the pigs get here? But that's now the story, know. how the pigs got here. What a kind man. Imagine being on the way to the butcher's, and then somebody comes and <laughs> saves you and brings you, to, here. brings you to an island. You just live your life on the island. God, so they all obviously Jackpot. are related, all the pigs, yeah. and they all start from a little family of pigs. So <laughs> there's so many of them. We need to find out exactly how, how many. many. We we'll go. We we'll go and count. Jesus. This is every now and again you just hear these noises, squeals. We have to be really, really quiet here because I don't want to disturb them. But we found one that's <laughs> out cold. Thank you. He's one of the little piglets. He's adorable. <laughs> He's a cutie pie. He is a cutie pie, right? <laughs> I swear to God, every video we do with animals, every video we do with animals, this is what we. <laughs> this one can't say off. Ah, uh, lads, come on, give it over. <laughs> you can't he, leave her alone. You can't get there. He God won't bless leave him. Her alone. We're actually been walking around there for a while, and I know we said that we couldn't count, but there's a lot of them. There's actually yeah. a lot more than I thought there would be. It's everywhere you look. Oh, they're under the tables now. People are drinking <laughs> at the beach, and they're under the tables. <laughs> they're under the tables, and then there's more out on the beach. We're a little bit in here in the shade where the restaurant is, but if you go out further onto the beach, then there's more of them. It... Like that, they're gathered around the tables and all, and chilling out in the shade. It's so funny. <laughs> Stop for a little beer, which is great because they actually have a bar on the island. Cheers! <laughs> <laughs> <Ka> ching <laughs> Nice Chang. Mm. This might be one of the most unique places we've actually had a beer. We've had a beer in a lot yeah. of places, but we're just sitting here looking around and obviously the scenery is incredible. It's one of the beaches in Thailand, so it's going to be beautiful, beautiful, clear blue water, nice sand, uh, nice kind of 
limestone kind of cliffs around it as well. But what makes this place is unique is the is the pigs, the animals that are here, the hens, the dogs. It's just such a weird experience, but but it's great. It's great fun to just be here. You kind of because of the pigs are here, you forget actually how beautiful the place is. There's so much to look at. There's so much going on. We're looking in the water and there's like jet skis and everything mm. flying out in the water and like that. There's a couple of swings around and I had a go on one of them. We actually yeah. went on it just to be like we'll get a few pictures. But it's actually really fun. Yeah. We're just swinging over like looking out at the sea and the yeah, view yeah. that you have. It's, it's amazing. This island is. I have to say, I've never seen anything like it. It's very very beautiful. Probably one of the nicest islands I've actually ever been on. Also as well, it's uh, it's very low tide, but it goes out for miles. You can see people like really far out, but the water is only up to their knees. So that's obviously great for like the kids and stuff like that. There's a lot of families here as well. So it's uh, it's definitely one of the most popular islands in this region of Thailand. So this is like the Gulf of Thailand. That's like Koh Samui, Koh Phangan, Koh Tao, and then this one as well. And there's like hundreds around. Um, but yeah, if you're in this region, say Koh Samui or Koh Phangan or Koh Tao, they do day trips from all of those islands to here. So if you struggle with like seasickness and things like that, because we have been on some trips before, thankfully me and Samantha don't, but we've seen some people kind of get really, really bad with it. But for a trip like this, it's quite short. Uh, the boat is quite fast. So maybe if you do su uh, suffer with seasickness, a tour like this actually might be uh, a good idea. So yeah, Caelan's talking about tours there. There's so many tours that you can actually do over here. And it, there's no shortage on tour offices there. Honestly, they're everywhere. So um, whether you're booking your tour, if you want to book a here or if you want to book a head online as well, you can. Uh, but there's plenty of options and loads of different tours. I actually think it could be a little bit cheaper to book it in one of the tour offices as well. So yeah, we get two hours to chill on this beach, which is lovely. So we're just chilling out now, having a drink. Uh, everybody's just chilling out. There's loads of sunbeds as well. You can sunbed, some people are having cocktails. And then we picked the, the two tours you can do. You can do a morning tour or else you can do the sunset tour. So we picked the sunset tour. So when we're finished then, on the beach here, the boat takes us back to the pier, which isn't too far. What did we say? Four to five minutes, I think, in total. And then um, we get a dinner as well. Then, so we get to have a dinner on the pier and watch the sunset. Hey, we're getting a bit braver. These little lads are. Hey. They're the cuter ones. The smaller ones are actually all right. <laughs> hey. Hello. Hello. <laughs> this is the best day of your life. <laughs> Isn't it, lads? Huh? They're absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? They're so cute. Yeah, they're so cute. Do you know what? I'm a vegetarian and I never say out to people about who eat meat. I just do it myself. But how can you eat them? Hell. They're so cute and adorable. How can anyone eat you? Your little nose is covered in sand. Yes. <laughs> have you ever, have you ever seen a drunk pig on a beach? Do you want some when chang? you're about to. <laughs> do you want some chang? No, we can't do that. <laughs> what did they be eating? What did they be searching for in the sand? I don't know. With their little snow? What do you be looking for? Huh? Hello. Also included in our tour was some snorkeling and although we didn't get great visibility, we loved getting in to swim in the sea and enjoyed the whole experience. On land, lovely. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Cheers, thank you. We have our fried vegetable, sweet and sour seafood. We have a little curry with chicken. It's mad the way they do the chicken curry over here. There's like little potatoes in it. That's nice. Oh my god, it's so nice. Yeah. Yeah. Just what we need after that long day of being on a boat oh, on a beach. Yes. The sea always makes you hungry. Yeah. <laughs> hungry oh, and tired. So nice, honestly. Really, really good. Mm. 
So thanks very much for watching our video from Pig Island. This was one of our best experiences here in Thailand. If you've made it this far into the video, please leave a like just to support our channel. You can also follow us on Instagram for all our daily updates at GoTime Travels. We still have more videos to come from Thailand, so please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell for all our future uploads. So once again, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.